This is Brian Watkins and this is my video tutorial for pivot tables. We are beginning a new uh, data table, the customer reports. So we will begin by examining what our data is. It appears to be a list of food products, customer ID, and then quarterly sales. And it looks to have four quarters. So let's go to our table and if we read we're supposed to give the total sales of each product for each customer so it looks like it's customer driven and followed by product and then we're going to find out the total sales not a row label let's put it over here count of quarter one we don't want count we want to have the sum of total one. Quarter two, let's put that here. It's defaulting again to count, so we want to make it a sum. And then let's just pull this down. Maybe that, no, nope, still doing counts. So we'll have to change each one, sum. And again, if you're not seeing what I'm clicking on, I, I left click on the field count. I go to value field settings and I tell it I want a sum. And so once I have all those done, I take a look here and it appears that I have the report I need. So I'm going to pause here. I'm going to format my numbers. Okay, my numbers are all formatted and I have a report that gives the total sales of each uh, product by customer per quarter and here we see the functionality of these little buttons which come in handy this time because I can reduce what I'm seeing here for customer ALFKI by hitting this minus button and it just shrinks right up and I can shrink these up or I can blow them up and let's put a table format on them let's keep it light this time let's just use a a gray there and looks like everything adds up we can see everything and we are done it's an awfully big table so you may want to put some kind of filter on it at some point but for right now it provides the information that you're asked for